join me for a drive across Ghoul. In the East Riding of Yorkshire. We are leaving Morrison Supermarket, on a sunny September 2022 morning. It was a beautiful day, and I had driven 5 hours that morning already. I was using Ghoul as a pit stop before continuing my journey. The old Tim's flour mill ahead, is now part of the Morrison's Cafe. I had just enjoyed, a full English breakfast in there. It was still early, not even 9 a.m. We will turn left, for Ghoul Town Center. This is Booth Ferry Road. The next right, is Dunhill Road. On the left, Wetherill Street. Then on the right, Parliament Street. Then on the left, is Jackson Street. Followed by, Carter Street, on the right. As you can see, there are various shops dotted along this road. Though, parking is not good. Unless you park in Tesco's supermarket I guess. Next right, opposite Tesco's entrance, is Jefferson Street. I am not sure, how long you can park in the bays along the side of the road. Not long I would imagine, perhaps they are just for loading. Where the blue car is coming out, is Montague Street. follow the car in front, and turn on to Pasture Road. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but it was not the road I wanted. There are lots of shops down here, but again limited parking. Though Tesco's car park, is only a couple of minutes walk away on the left. I assume Ghoul has other car parks, but I do not know where they are. Next right, where the learner's car is coming out of, is 2nd Avenue. Next left, Wilson Street, followed by, 3rd Avenue, on the right. Coming up, 4th Avenue, on the right. And, West Street, opposite. Next right, 5th Avenue. The next left, is an extension of Pasture Road. On the right, Marlboro Avenue. In hindsight, I should have turned around on this roundabout, but even in my small car, it looked a bit tight. Next right, Atley Drive. By the way, this is still Pasture Road. I am hoping I can turn right ahead, but I have never been here before, and winging it. Next left, Hilda Street. Followed by, Churchill Walk, on the right. Next left, Elsie Street, next to the Londis. I admit defeat, and turn around in Colonel's Walk. I am not lost, honest, just taking the scenic route. Off I go, the way I came. At least I saw a part of Ghoul, I have never been before. If I had thought, I could have turned right at this mini roundabout, and got to Tesco's car park. Then back to Booth Ferry Road. Not that it matters which way I went really. There are plenty of speed bumps on this road, to enforce the 20 miles per hour speed limit. Sticking to a 20 miles per hour speed limit, 
can be tricky in a modern car I find. I find the speed bumps help me. Though I am sure many would disagree. Always, give a cyclist plenty of room when passing. It was still early. I expect this road will get quite busy later. Great, the lights are green. Back on to Booth Ferry Road. Next right, Mariner Street. Straight ahead, Booth Ferry Road becomes pedestrian only. The road becomes Edinburgh Street. I discover there is a public car park on the left, at the railway station. There is also another car park on the right. That car park, is my destination. I do like shopping early. It's so much easier to park. This car park, like the railway station, is a pay and display one. I always like to park in an end space. I don't like anyone blocking my driver's door. The end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe.